Hello guys, I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another interesting JavaScript problem. This problem that we are going to solve is the easy version of another problem. The parent problem of this, right? The hard one. It is one of the most complex problem that you will solve in the front end. This is because it powers an editor that is being used by majority of the CMS. For example, if you see, I'm on WordPress here and this is the editor. And what you see here is we write text and here we visualize the text. So this editor is called as Weisswig editor known as what you see is what you get. So Weisswig editor it is called as. Now what happen is, let's say if I type something over here, right? JavaScript ultimate front end guide okay so this is the text i have typed now i come to this text particular text i select this and i click on this icon this will add a strong tank to this so what happened was this text was wrapped inside an html tag and now if i go to this visual you see that how this text will look to the end user on the browser it is visualized over here so you type something you use the editors formatting you format the text and then it is visually visible over here to see what is the outcome of the text to the end user now this is called as Weisswig editor what you see is what you get it's an interesting JavaScript problem where we have to implement this Weisswig editor now in today's problem, we are going to implement the easier version of this and then in the next set, we are going to implement more harder version of the Weisswig editor. So what we have to do is the problem statement read as we are given a set of words and a string. So the string is a normal string and then we are given a set of words. We have to highlight all the words in the string. So uh, we are going to highlight that using strong tab. That is we have to wrap the text that matches to any of the words with the strong tag. Now only edge case we have to handle over here is let's say we have a complete word something called front end and in the words we are given a simple word end. So this end has to be highlighted which is part of the front end. So this is the edge case we have to handle. If we are given front end, sorry, front and end both separately. And then we have a word, right? Front end, which is a combined word that combines both of these words. So this complete text should be wrapped under a single strong tab. It should not be like the front is separately tagged and then the end is separately tagged. It should be tracked the whole word or the complete word in a single tag. So that is what we have to implement. Now in the index.html, we must be given a P paragraph tag or a division tag where we'll have the text and then we are given this word. We have to pull the text from the, uh, that particular HTML tag. We have to highlight and put it back. So just for the solving the problem, I have extracted the word from here in the variable and then we have the words and we have to create this function highlight. Once the implementation is done, you can replace this variable by this, uh, you know, uh, static string with the content of the tag by pulling it dynamically. So let's, let's get started. We have to implement this highlight function that will take the string and the words and it will highlight it. Now, if you see when I'm going to solve this problem, we are going to make use of data structure and a little bit of algorithms. So algorithm is basically a program that takes certain inputs and provides certain output or do certain actions. So uh, a, any single line of code that we write, right? It's generally algorithm only, but we are going to make use of data structure also in solving this problem. So many of you have doubt, right? Where is actually the data structures required in the front-end coding. So this is the case where we require it. So let's get started. Let me implement this highlight function. This will take the string and the 
keywords that we have to highlight the first thing we are going to do is from these words the array of words right which is the keywords we are going to let me rename this as keywords only so that there is no confusion so from these keywords we are going to find we have to find the unique keywords because in case there is a repetitive keywords it does not make sense right we just have to take the unique of them and then we have to highlight so here what i'm doing is i'm creating a variable unique keywords and then i'm going to use the set data structure set creates a unique set of any values and to that we can pass an array of value and it will accept all of them or spread them individually in the set and this set will create a unique keywords list so if in case if there are duplicate values over here it will become unique so now we got the unique keywords and then from this string right we are going to extract all the words from it so not the characters words words is that are space separated so we are going to split the string on the space so words is equal to string dot split and we are going to split it on space so when we split the string on the space it will become it will give us the list of the words now finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable result and i'm going to map all the words now after mapping what we are going to do is so we got the list of words from the string and now we'll individually check if these words are present in the unique key keywords list or not so if they are present in the unique keyword set that means we have to highlight that particular word that's the first case so let's handle that so let output i'm creating a string over here so that we can wrap the word if it is found under the strong tag and we can hold it in a variable so that's why string are created and now if unique keywords dot has the word so we are mapping all the words in each iteration we'll get the single word so we are using that single word and unique keywords dot has has the has is the inbuilt method available on the set that allows us to check if the given particular value is present in the set or not so we are doing the same if the word is present in the unique keywords list what we are going to do is in the output we are going to wrap that under the strong tag so here we are going to wrap the word else so if the word is not present then we have to handle the edge case edge case is we have to break the word and we have to check if any sub part of it is present in the keywords or not for example in the front end case right so if the front end as a whole keyword is not present in the keywords we are going to break this and we are going to check if any part of or subset of the front end is present in the keywords or not so in this case it is present front plus end both are present so we have to highlight them so in the else part we are going to do that so what we are going to do is we are going to iterate the word that i equals to zero for all its character so word dot length and then i plus plus so we are going to iterate the word and after that we are going to take we are going to break the word in two parts one is prefix so prefix is word that is starting from the zeroth index and it goes till the current ith index so let's say if you are at the second character it will take fr as prefix and remaining o and t end as suffix so and the const of suffix equals to word dot slice the remaining characters which are after the current index so we got the prefix we got the suffix we broke the word in two parts now each of these we have to check if it is present in the unique keywords or not so if 
both are present that is unique keywords dot has prefix and unique keywords dot has suffix so if both are present we have to wrap the complete word in a single strong tag so that's what we are going to do output equals to strong and then here we are going to have prefix plus suffix so both the tag both the uh, word will be combined and it will be wrapped under single strong tag you can use the complete word itself because i have broken down in prefix and suffix so i am using both so that we understand it better now the second thing is if only prefix is present and suffix is not present so we have to make sure we add the check that if suffix is not present and only prefix is present so we have to highlight the prefix part and after that the suffix part should be part of the word so highlighting will be done for the prefix but suffix should be part of the word so that's what we are going to do unique keywords dot has prefix but it does not have suffix so if not unique keyword dot has suffix so what we did is we just check if prefix is present but suffix is not present so what we'll do is we'll show the prefix highlighted and we'll show the suffix after that so this will be considered as a single word but only the prefix part will be highlighted similar to this we have to check for the suffix also so if suffix is present but prefix is not present so what we are going to do is we are going to highlight the suffix but it will be considered as single word so prefix should be available before that so that's it that's the check we are done with and after that we are going to check if the output so if any of the word is found or not if it is found so if it is not empty the output so we found certain word that was highlighted then we have to return the output otherwise we have to return the word as it is and because it is not highlighted so if there was any highlight we have to return the highlighted word otherwise we have to return the word as it is now at the end because we have splitted the word into array of words right so we are going to join that so we are going to return this result by joining it space separated in a single string format so let me clear this and now if i run this console.log highlight so if i run this you see that ultimate after that the javascript word right in this list in the keywords javascript is there so javascript is highlighted it is wrapped under the strong tag and after that front end guide right so front and end both keywords are present that's why front end is highlighted as a single word in the strong tag now let's do the check let me remove the end part and see if it works or now so here if you see let me clear this reload again so ultimate is there javascript is highlighted from the front end string only the front part is highlighted end is attached as a word but the front is highlighted and then we got the guide so it is working fine now if i replace this with end you see this javascript is highlighted front is part of the word but it's not highlighted end is highlighted so this is how we can do the simple highlighting of the keywords now here the keywords are case sensitive so if i change the e to smaller e it won't highlight the word why because it was not able to determine the end and it was case sensitive so let's say what if interviewer ask you to make it case insensitive so you have to update the code now let's do that as well so what i'm going to do over here is 
I'm going to add a flag. So case in sensitive equals to false. So by default, it will be false. If it is passed as true, so what we have to do is first thing is we'll say if case insensitive is passed as a flag so this all the keywords right this keywords has to be converted to either lowercase or uppercase so that we can match the words in the string so the best scenario is to convert that to lowercase so keywords dot map e and each of them i'll convert to lowercase to lowercase and this will convert the complete string to the lowercase now we got the string in the lowercase so the unique keywords now holds the keywords in the lowercase now every time the word is passed to check to this unique keywords right we have to determine if it is case sensitive check then this word should also be converted to lowercase and then only the check should be performed now because we are doing multiple checks over here right so adding it explicitly is not a good idea what we are going to do is rather we will create a function so const has word and we'll have the word and what we are going to do is we are abstracting the logic so if so word if it is case insensitive then what we are going to do is we are going to convert the word to the lower case otherwise we are going to return the word as it is and from here we'll return if unique word has the word or not now this is where we abstracted the logic for the in case insensitive check now let me copy this function and replace so from here from here so what it did is we just wrapped the logic for the check inside a function and then here we are checking it for the case insensitive check now let me clear this so by default the flag is false that's why if i save this you'll see that even if the end is in small case it is not highlighted now let's change the flag so in the function over here i'll pass true so let's see what happens now when i have passed true you see that the end was highlighted so our case insensitive check is also working fine so this is how you can create or solve this problem where we have to highlight given keywords in the text or in a string so this is the basic of ysvg editor in the next video we'll solve the complete ysvg editor check it's a complex problem so see you in the next video